Hey there, Evil Dragon here, and I've got a video which I think you've been waiting for the last few months or even years if you followed us from the very beginning with the Pyra development. I've got a working prototype of the Pyra, a very very first version. This will be a hard, hard video to make because the screen is just so high resolution, it's very small and I don't know how well I can catch it on camera, but I will try my best. So here it is, the, the first fully assembled Pyra prototype. Um, the case is still in prototyping phase as well as the uh, PCBs. This is only, this part is only printed. The remaining parts are already plastic mold injection. A transparent case so you can um, check for any issues and you will see what's that good for. Right now everything is too big because um, when doing inject plastic injection mold you are doing negative ones. So it's easier to apply something than to remove something. And here you can see this is the battery in there. We need a full SD card basically for padding so um, that the unit will work. Um, there will be, um, it will be thicker here in, on the inside from the battery cover so that it will push the battery down. But we will keep the um, space here because you know when a battery gets old a few months it uh, usually blows up a tiny little bit and so to not damage the uh, case we will have a bit of space here. So we will just have to um, thicker areas here so that the battery is pushed down and will work properly. Another thing what's great with the transparent case is uh, that you can see everything for the inside. For example, here is the LCD cable. Don't know how well you can see that on HD, on the uh, video camera. Um, it's a bit uh, too short right now, so you can see here that it we need to pull it a lot and that it's uh, too much on the force. So we know we need to increase the length of the uh, LCD cable bit, but this is nothing special. This will only take a couple of minutes. Um, but it's something that you can only see when really assembling the unit and with a transparent case. So the unit is currently running fully from the battery. The only thing I've connected is a keyboard via USB, simply for the fact that I don't have the keyboard mapping yet and I can't use all the keys. So let's see here. Um, I've already booted up the unit and as you can see I've got a web browser running here, for example Engadget. Um, the software is currently just the uh, software that has uh, that Nikolaus is using for testing. It is not our official operating system, which means that the graphic output on X is terribly slow here. So you can see that it is already really slow on that browser. That will not be the case when we switch to the um, real operating system, which I hope that we can do within the uh, new and next few days, depending on how uh, flawless I can do that. So the unit is booting, as you can see, the touchscreen is working. Even though, ah, yeah, they, maybe you can see the mouse here. Yeah, probably. Um, even if it's very small on the screen. Um, I can switch between different tabs here without any issues. That's the form, of course. Um, even Facebook loads properly without any issues. Um, one note about the screen, you might see that there's a kind of spot here and uh, while well, touchscreen sometimes doesn't react properly here, this was just a, well, a screen I assembled myself. I put the touchscreen on there so it's not professionally made. Um, the real screen we tested, which we uh, have prepared for the real prototypes, um, doesn't work properly, similar to the Pandora one. So yeah, even Facebook works without any big, uh, bigger issues here. Um, Let's see what else can I show you. Um, at the top you can see um, we've got the battery already. Uh, maybe you can see it's at 45%. Then uh, we've got the uh, degree Celsius inside, inside the CPU right now, which is uh, 43 degrees, which means that it's even colder in the, uh, at the case itself. So that's not a big issue yet, uh, but of course we're not doing anything very power hungry, well, except for maybe Firefox with uh, some browsers here, um, which takes a bit of uh, processing power. So as you can see, the nubs are already working here. And I'm especially amazed by the nubs. Maybe you can see that here's the um, mouse pointer and here's the nubs. I don't have the caps yet for it, but I can of course move them. I can move the mouse really slowly, exactly up and down and left and right how I want it. 
and I can also move it fast. So I can go fast and then go really, really slow. They're re really sensitive. This is much, much better than what we have on the Pandora. And of course, um, one thing that's better is it goes exactly in the direction that you push it. So you can go really slow. You can even go slower because um, right now we've got a two time acceleration set up in XFC. And of course you can uh, run over the case. So yeah, the nubs will be a lot better. Here you can see the uh, RGB LEDs blinking, um, which of course they will not do in the final version. This is just for testing. So you can see that the system is still working and everything. Um, the keyboard is also working mostly. A few keys have not been yet mapped yet, um, but it works fine. How is the look and feel? Well, I expected the keyboard to be a bit worse, to be honest. It's, it already works pretty good when I try to type something here. Um, of course, as you can see, you can easily reach all the areas. The only button that cannot easily be reached is the power button, which is uh, probably something you don't want to press that often anyways. So um, if you hold it normally in your hands, it's a lot more comfortable than the Pandora because you've got rounded edges here. And then you can type on the keys which works without any issues, which feels good already. I still want them to have a bit more rounded so um, that, the, that you don't feel the space between the buttons that heavy, but it's already pretty well. Um, the buttons also work nicely, um, similar to the Pandora. The only thing is the buttons will uh, be made a bit higher than we've got them here, because right now, if you can see, the buttons are about as high as the keyboard um, buttons which means that you play, if you play a game, you easily hit, accidentally hit, for example, the backspace key, or um, I know Ascaros uh, accidentally hits the one key here, um, but this can be fixed if we just make them a bit higher. So yeah, we will have a few tweaks to the key mat, but uh, overall it's mostly fine. You might want to see how well the keyboard works, so I fired up LibreOffice here. Um, and let's see, um, this, is a keyboard test. So um, of course I can show you how it feels, um, but it works pretty well. And as mentioned, it, it feels, the, the plastic caps feel really, really good. Um, I just want to have them a bit more smooth uh, to move from one to the other button. But apart from that, they work good. So um, what's also awesome is uh, the display, of course. Um, this is running Linux Extended Resolution at the 720p display. It's pretty small, but for me it's not too small. Um, and for example, here's GIMP and you can see that you can easily reach all these nice buttons. And you can easily um, work with pictures here. Um, I don't have a picture right now here. I might show you some uh, videos with pictures during the next few days. I first need to set up the system myself so that I can show something properly. As mentioned, this is just a, a quick setup. But um, for a first presentation, I think it worked pretty well. Uh, let's hope we can also uh, have some high power running. Right now the system, it's not getting too hot right now. Um, we've got 38. 40 degrees, something like that right here. Um, but this is now without any power saving. So uh, the modem runs, the Wi-Fi runs, it runs at full speed. It needs a lot more CPU power due to the system not being optimized. And we don't have any heat sink or anything in there yet. It's just the CPU board plugged on top of the uh, main board. And we plan a lot more for heat distribution on there. And nothing has happened here now. We've got space here and here. Um, to put some small heating uh, in there if, we need, if the need be with maybe small holes. And uh, we also plan to um, connect the CPU with a, um, with a heat paste uh, to the main layer of the main board. So that will all be improved. This is what we are working on during the next few weeks and month. And uh, we hope you keep following us and well, it's an amazing, it will be an amazing little system as soon as we're finished. And I hope you like the small presentation. See you soon.